How's it going? This is Halloween Drawings. I'm going to go over how to draw uh, kind of a cute version of Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein's monster, although everybody corrects me on that. I'm going to be using a green colored pencil and then a regular marker. That's really all you need. You can use a black colored pencil too, which I actually I do need actually. So uh, a couple of things. I'm going to draw on the proportions of him first. I'm going to make his head really big. I don't know why. That tends to be a kind of a cute factor for people. And then I'm going to make his tiny body. I, I can barely see this. This is the underlay, you know, just to kind of get my proportion down. It should only be visible to me, so you shouldn't be able to see it. See, you can kind of see it, right? Uh, but let's start with a square head. Frankenstein has a very, very square head. And I'm going to put this kind of drippiness to his hair, almost like a bunch of cake fell on his head. I'm going to draw that part first. flat head and then he's got that scar right he's got several scars but which is just a single line with like you know stuff through it real easy single line for his brow he's got a huge brow draw his little eyes draw like some wrinkles around his eyes but you know it's kinda maybe angry and then I'm gonna draw his little mouth and that would be his head. It could draw his ears too. And uh, he tends to be wearing like a suit of some sort. Yeah, I'm gonna draw those shapes. Keep it very simple. The body would be the easiest thing, I feel. It is like putting building blocks together. I like to compare. Shoes are very squarish, but this whole character is very square or round. Uh, you know, very round, uh, like very simplistic shapes tend to attract kids, which is, you know, usually what cute things are for, but they're not totally for kids because I love cute things. They're awesome. I'm going to grab this green colored pencil. And this is particularly a bright green. You don't need to make it this bright green. He's more of a... They tend to make them like a like a dull, sickly blue or sickly green. I've noticed when they do have incarnations of them in movies or TV. You know, in movies, obviously the old movie was black and white. But I'm gonna go over here and kind of go over it and do like a pass through. And using my the side of this colored pencil, by the way, the side. And this, you don't have to use any particular colored pencil. It's very uh, very simple. You know, you don't really need, you can use any kind. This is a very cheap brand of colored pencil, actually, that I'm using. I'm just going to get it to a level where you find, <clears throat> that you find acceptable and that you like. Uh, and then for the suit, I tend to take this black. I don't have a gray, but I tend not to push all the way down. And then color the suit. I usually leave the shirt white. And then for his hair, which I should have done toward the beginning, which I didn't, I didn't tell you guys, but I would fill that in with a marker. I think it has kind of a, a cool look with uh, filling that in with a marker. Let me see this. Keep going there. It's time consuming, but not that time consuming. Uh, I'm trying to design this video so that you know I can do things that most people can do. Not all videos, right? Some of them are going to be a little more complicated. And uh, but you know, if you ever want to put this on an office whiteboard or something like that, it's real, real simplistic. You know, it's made to be edible for all. And if you really want to do it, you can make his eyes. Uh, I don't have a yellow. You could make. Actually, I do have a yellow. You can make his eyes yellowy to kind of give it some, uh, so they can pop out, you know? Anyways, that's a cute Frankenstein. Really quick, really easy. Nothing too hard. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to this channel and share it. It's going to be uh, just for this season, just for the Halloween season. And uh, I'll talk to you later. later.